Lord Jesus, we are so grateful for this day. We are so grateful for this new day, Lord, that you've given us, Lord, that we can come together, Lord, in each of our houses to worship you and magnify you and glorify you because you alone are worthy, Lord. You are holy, Lord. And therefore, Lord, at this very moment, we invite your Holy Spirit to fill the atmosphere of this room, of this house, of this temple of God, Lord. We ask that in Jesus' name. And we thank you for our beloved pastors, Lord. Pacific term Pastor Afifi, Lord, that you have chosen, you have appointed, and you have placed as our leaders in FMC, Lord. Will you strengthen them? Will you ensure them that you will never forsake nor leave them, Lord? We thank you. We bless them in Jesus' name. Father, we want to glorify you. We want to enjoy your presence. Be welcome in this place. If you are ready to receive, say with all of your heart, Amen! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let's sing this song together to the Lord.
the Lord together.
Lord. Let us worship Him. Let us worship Him. Let us worship Him. Let us worship Him. He is Jesus. He is the Lord. Our God. A miraculous God. Let us worship. Let's give a cup of it to God. Let us worship Him. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful. You are our good shepherd. Take us, Lord. Take us, Lord, that where you are, there we will be, that we may enjoy your presence in this world, in every situation. Praise be your name. Praise be your name. Hallelujah. Everybody says hallelujah. Say hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, your anointing is over us. That we can receive your promise and experience it. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yes. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. We are entering a new month with a new enthusiasm and a new joy. We have a new theme of this month, and that is peace. Peace. The serenity from God. We'll take a look at Psalm 23. Let's take a look at Psalm 23. That you may, uh, all of you may receive the word of God. Because every time the word of God is being shared, and that is the time that we want to experience the promise or the power of God. The Bible said that the word of God is not only words, but power. Yes. The uh, power that brings life. The power that is able to bless us. The power that uh, restore. Psalm 23, verse 2. And we will read at the last part of verse 2. I'm just going to read it for you. Psalm 23, verse 1 and 2, so that we can see it uh, carefully. The Lord is my shepherd. I like nothing. Pay attention. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me. This whole month we've been talking about this. And now, He leads me beside quiet water. 
water. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Dia tidak bawa kita ke air yang bergelora. He did not lead us to a bubbling water. But he gave us a quiet water. In Dutch, is it a, a nice word? Quiet. There is peace. Yeah. In order to have uh, enough time, we can take a look quickly. I'm going to relate this to John 14, verse 27. John 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. How awesome. You may give a clap offering to God. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Hallelujah. If we read this verse, we can conclude that there are two kinds of peace. Firstly, peace that comes from the Lord or from the heaven. This is an, uh, a, a real peace, true peace, an eternal peace that is not affected by anything. Secondly, is peace from the world. If you have the fake, the real one, you, you also have the fake one or false one. False means uh, temporary. temporary. False means it's not real. It's not true. Or false. Figment. Uh, it is as if you're looking at the desert, when you are in the desert, it feels like you are looking at the water. And it's, it's called a Fata Morgana. It's the shadow in the desert, a dry one. There's no water in there. If you try to dig the ground, you can find no water. This shadow is false. And this is what I want to share to you. And it's really nice. The first one is the peace from the world. It is uh, a kind of peace that teach to depend on the situation and the condition. The kind of peace that comes when we have no problems. When the company grows, when everything goes smoothly, as we expected, and you are so happy, and what I want to say is, if it's like that, and it is what uh, is going on in the world, that is the kind of peace that is uh, temporary. The kind of peace that is um, rises and 
Ya, um, tergantung kondisi yang kita hadapi. Uh, gitu. And go. Yeah. Contoh selaku banyak orang-orang. For example, there are many people yeah. yang mengalami damage shatter yang bersempat sementara ini. Who experience uh, this uh, temporary peace. Yaitu misalnya, for example, ya, damage mereka ditentukan oleh jumlah uang di rekening. That their peace is, gitu. is depend on how much money they have on their bank, bank account. Bisa hebat yeah. rekening. Wah, waktu di rekening itu uangnya banyak, senyumnya lebar. When they have so much money in their bank account, they are smiling from ear to ear. And they feel so happy. It feels so happy. Tapi tiba-tiba uangnya habis atau menipis. When suddenly they running out of money, it affected uh, his attitude. Jadi ketakutan. They became afraid. They be, they worry. Penuh kemarahan. Karena duitnya berubah. They felt angry. Itulah damage dari dunia. Because they don't have money, and that is the that is the world. That is the peace from the world. Damage yang dari Tuhan ya. So the peace from the from God is not affected by anything. The peace from God. Is an eternal peace, and that is why. Second point: the peace from heaven is a peace that Jesus gives. Is not the world gives. Yes. Yes. Kita lihat. Misalnya Ibrani 13 ayat 8. You can take a look in Hebrew 13 verse 8. Yesus Kristus tetap sama. Jesus Christ is the same. Then, now, and forever. What does it mean? He does not change. When the peace comes from Jesus, from the Lord, then the peace will not change. Your body can get sick, but the peace from God can fill you. And that is why the peace from God on the Lord can make us smile even dance in the midst of the storm. How awesome is that? The Lord Jesus, when he was on, in the lake, in the lake, Together with his disciples, the waves came in so big, and the water got in the boat. They were afraid that they get sunk. In but Jesus slept behind the stern. In the midst of the big waves, he slept. This is an illustration that Jesus shows that he is in peace. When it's shaken so badly, Father God is watching over him. And that is what is awesome. And this is what I want to share to you. That this peace is born from the truth or the word of God that you believed in. And not from your situation or your condition. And not from the situation of the world. No. Let's take a look together. I want you to enter a new month with a new enthusiasm. With a new joy. Because there is a new hope. Isaiah 32, verse 17. Where there is truth. Isaiah 32, verse 17. The fruit of that righteousness will be peace. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
Yes, tumbuh damai sejahtera. There will be peace. What does it mean? Damai terus. You feel peace at all times. Yes, dan akibat kebenaran. And its effect will be quietness. Dan ketentraman untuk selamanya. And confidence forever. Forever. Whether you are happy, whether you are having a difficulty, whether you are in Holland or other countries, whether you are young or you are old, whether there is Corona or no Corona, no problem. As long as you have the truth, you have the word of God. The peace will arise. Amen. Yes. Speaking about grow means it can get bigger, it can get greater, and you experience that, Lord. And point number three. We have read the verse just now in John 14 in the beginning and in verse 27. Point number three, that this peace is already provided, been provided. What does it mean? There is peace. The peace is ready. You can just enjoy it. Can you imagine this? You are invited to a family, and this family says, Later, we can have dinner together. Can you imagine? This family are a good cook. So you got into the house, you smile, Oh, the owner of the house smiled and said, I have already cooked for all of you. Everything is provided. And that is what Jesus does for you and me. So to be able to get the true peace, we need to receive the Lord Jesus. As our God, our Savior, of our lives. Receive him. The Bible said just now, the fruit of the righteousness will be peace. And in John 14, verse 17, your word is the truth. Amen. And Jesus, and Jesus is the living word. So if you receive God, your life becomes righteous. And the truth of God sets you free. And you will experience the quiet water. Give a clap offering to God. And secondly, we just read, we need to spend time to read, to meditate, to listen to the word of God and that you believe in the word and the promise of God. This word of God the more you read it, the more you know God and the truth that is in you, and you will have an overflowing peace that whatever condition you are in, you will still say, God is here. And God will defend me. We'll take a look at 2 Peter 1, verse 2. It says, I love this verse. 2 Peter 1, verse 2. Grace 
Genade. Dan daarmee en peace. En vrede. Be yours in abundance. Underline the last words. Through the knowledge of God. Through the knowledge of God. And of Jesus our Lord. So if you want to know Jesus more, read the Bible. Listen to the word of God. Meditate on it. And believe in it. Then peace will grow in you. Yes. So when you know the, the truth of God's word, yes, amen. The peace will be in you. And that is the true peace. I'm going to give you an example in Daniel 3. Well, you can read it from verse 12 to, till through 30. So, long story short, at that time you have Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. These three young men were in Babylon. They were colonized. They are, were not in their own um, people. So, the king um, made a um, um, image, a big image, and everyone has to worship this image. Sadra, Mesach, and Abednego, they know their God. And they say, this is an image. Because they read the Bible. So we need to read our Bible so, so that we know that they cannot worship idols. The only one they can worship is God. Turn to your neighbor and say, the one that you have to worship is only God. Only God and no other. Money is not God. Your treasure is not God. We need money. But we do not have to worship money because we can make money, but we cannot make God because God is the one who made us. Yes. And He is the one who is worthy to be worshipped. Everyone has to worship. The image. But these three young men didn't want to. But the king gave them a, another chance. If you hear the sound of um, instruments once again and you will worship the, the image, then you will not get punished. But if you don't do that, I will put you in a blazing furnace. This is not a story, this is a true story. This is not a myth, this is a true story. So when this, they hear the sound of the instrument, we can take a look at Daniel 3. They were captured because they did not want to worship the image. So in Daniel 3, verse 17, Starting uh, verse 16. Daniel 3, verse 16. Okay, cepat ya. Lalu Sadra Mesa Abednego menjawab Raja Nebuchadnezzar. So, Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. 
Indien onze God die wij vereren in staat is ons te bevrijden, maka ia akan melepaskan kami dari perapian yang menyala-nyala itu. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it. And he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. Verse 18. But even if he does not, we want you to know your majesty that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. En het gouden beeld dat gij hebt opgericht niet aan me. Oh, saudaraku. Wow, broer. When I read this, I thought, ik dacht, langsung tuan kirim malaikat. God quickly sent the angels. Zond de engelen. Langsung kepalanya Nebuchadnezzar dipukin pusing. And spin the head of Nebuchadnezzar and make him dizzy. But the story didn't go that way. In verse 19, then Nebuchadnezzar was furious. They arrested the th these three young men and ordered the furnace to be heated seven times harder than usual. Back then, you don't, everything is not automatic. And now, we, we can do it easily. So, the, it was a, a blazing uh, furnace. That was flaming hot. What happened next? We can read it together. In verse 22, the king's command, command was so urgent. And the furnace so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldier who took up Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. So it, it's, it's, it looks like a frying pan, a really big one. <laughs> and you have like, the stairs to go up. And with the flaming fire, and Sadrach Mesa Abednego was pushed in to the furnace. And because it was so hot, the, this, this Men died because of the fire. What happened next? When I read further, the th these three young men got into the furnace. With their hands tied, terkejutlah raja Nebukadnezar lalu dengan lalu bangun dengan segera berkatalah ia pada para pendiri bapa menterinya bukan ketiga orang telah kita campakkan dalam terikat dalam api itu jawab mereka pada raja benar yang raja. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his advisors, weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, certainly, your majesty. 25. He said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed, and the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Itu rupanya seperti anak dewa. And the outer look of the fourth is like of that of a wonder golden. Yang satu itu seperti anak dewa artinya anak Allah. Looks like a son of the gods. The son of God. And he saw that this, this one person 
Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Allah beserta Who kita. Is he? Emmanuel. God is with us. The same God yeah. who loves everyone. Who loves Sadra, Mesa, and Abednego. He gives us peace. When they were not afraid to see the flaming fire, they, were, they had no fear. And this is awesome. You believe in your God. He is the one who is in control. And you are. You have peace in the midst of the storm. Turn to your neighbor and say, You can walk around in the flaming fire. You can walk around facing the fire of problems, the fire of uh, struggle, because God is with us. Give God a big hand. Hallelujah. How awesome. So if you read the Bible, yeah. the peace of God is in you. And as closing, make Jesus Christ as a shepherd of your life. Because he is the source of peace. Lord Jesus, bless you. Let us pray. Father, your servant has shared what you want. And now, reveal your power to all of you who listen to the word of God. The Lord. This very day, firstly, speak to each one of us, even to the one who is looking for uh, peace in this world, and those who, who are uh, troubled, who are in fear. With this situation, God, speak to them. Brothers, sisters, and the lo God's love, ones, let us pray. Put your hand on your chest. Together with me, say, Say it together. Lord Jesus, say it one more time. The Lord Jesus, be my God and my Savior. Be my shepherd, my leader who nurture my life. In your name I cry, Lord Jesus, be my God and my Savior. In the difficult time, you feel like you are in the flaming fire. He is Emmanuel. God is with the believer. Say to him, Lord, do not let me go. Do not leave me. Lord, I want to be with you. And now, Lord, I have shared your word in the name of Jesus. Everyone who listened to the word of God, the peace is born in their heart. Peace of God is upon your household, in your heart, in your life. You can have peace that you know what you have to do. You can have peace. Just like Sadra, Mizar, and Abednego, because you know he is there and he is with us. We are grateful. We want to follow you, Lord. The Lord and our Savior say to God, I want it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Brothers and sisters, in the midst of God's presence, we want to enjoy the Holy Communion together. Prepare the bread and the wine, especially for the head of the family, a father, or a mother or older sister or brother who can minister his wife or children or his family. I want to read First uh, Corinthians so we can enjoy the Holy Communion. This is not a ceremony because everything that we do in the sermon Number one, it is not entertainment that can entertain you temporarily. But the eternal peace, that big great things shall happen. Secondly, this is not a ceremony. This is not a religious ceremony. Even if we do it correctly, with a good reason, but in it, there is promise. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 23, through 27. Uh, we will read it alternately. Verse 23, in Indonesia. Verse 24 in Dutch. 23 in Indonesia. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. The dank zegging uitsprak, het brak en zeide: Dit is mijn lichaam voor u. Doe dit tot mijn gedachtenis. Yes. Je ambil roti. He took the bread and he broke it. So if you can see this, the bread is being broken. Supaya apa? Wat is de bedoeling? Supaya kita. So that we who are broken can be restored. He, he was broken so that we can be whole again. He was spot and tortured so that he can take away our pain. Verse 25 In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Verse 26. If we do this, we are sharing God's uh, death until He comes. What does it mean? We are talking about uh, redemption. Every time we do this, we remember He has redeemed our life. He has paid all of our lives. You do not have to be condemned anymore. You can live freely. You can enjoy the freedom from God. You can be freed from the curse of sickness, the curse of poverty, the curse of suffering. Jesus did that in verse 27. So then, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup, of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. 
That is why we will eat and drink correctly. What does it mean? According to what God has said. Believe in it so you can experience God's promise. You experience His restore, restoration. That you can experience His miracle. I remember the testimony of Pastor Ronnie Dowd. He, he had the Holy Communion. The, the doctor said, that he got affected by uh, COVID-19 and the doctor can ha cannot help him anymore. And he, he, his wife says that he, she needed to have this Holy Communion and the power of healing took place. For them, it is important to be united with God because this life is temporary. Everything in this world is temporary, but the one who believes in Jesus Christ will receive eternal life. Amen. And God defend them. I pray that you do this Holy Communion correctly and experience the miracle of God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in the midst of your presence, and also at home and here in this place, Confirm this bread and wine with your blood. There is power in it. The power of resurrection. The power of healing. The power of miracle. Unite everyone in, at home with your blood and your body. Take the wine and the bread for those of you at home and give it to your brothers and sisters. Take the bread on your, with your right hand. Let us say, I believe the Lord Jesus Christ has died on the cross. He was destroyed so that I can be restored. He was put in jail so that I can be set free. He suffered so that I can have, uh, so that I can rejoice. Say, in the name of Jesus, I receive the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us have this together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. So I believe I can chawan anggur. You can give out the wine. Lift it up with your right hand. I feel that God is with us. Follow me. Yes, Lord. Saya tunggu sampai semua menerimanya. I'll wait until everyone receives the wine, the power of the blood of Jesus, the power of the blood of Jesus works in all of us. Thank you, Lord. And now, say it, now I receive the blood of Jesus, the blood who heals, that seals I become the child of God. I receive the blessings from the heaven in the name of Jesus. Say, I receive miracle. I receive healing. Say, in the name of Jesus, peace of God is upon us. And everyone who believes, say, in the name of Jesus, amen. Let us drink this together.
Let's take some time. One or two, three minutes. God, your power works. There is freedom wherever they are. Peace will grow in the name of Jesus. Peace will grow in our hearts, in our lives, in our family. Because you bring a blessing to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Give a clap offering to God. How awesome. And we learn just like what Jesus did. He gave his life. He present his life for the Hari ini vandaag, kita akan sama-sama memberikan persembahan kita. Today we are going yes. to give our offerings Dalam together. Kita, Lukas misalnya. In, in the book of Luke. Lukas pasal yang ke berapa itu? 21. Lukas in the 20 of Coba saya lihat sedikit ya. In the book of Luke. Dikatakan di sini. Chapter 21. It says. Yeah. If you read from verse 1 through 4, in Indonesian Bible it says the widow's offering. So when she was in the temple of God, there is someone who gives an offering. And this widow, the, the poor widow, it says, that he that she gave about ten cents, and Jesus said that this woman gave more. He she gave. Yeah. Van haar armoede, haar ganse levensonderhoud erin geworpen. Apa itu yeah. Wat betekent dat? Lakukan Out of her poverty, she, she had, uh, she gave everything. Di luar ini. Niet van yeah. buiten, luar van de uiterlijk. Gampang dilihat orang. Van aan de buiten, de uiterlijk kan makkelijk gezien Tapi worden. Tuhan lihat hati mu. People see from the outside, but, pe but God Lalu sees what it, what's in your heart. Amen. Amen. Lakukan persembahan dengan sukacita. Give your yeah. offerings with uh, uh, joy. Met yeah. You can find the QR code, you can scan the QR code, or you can transfer via bank account with all your heart, because you love God. We will pray first, Brother Gerald will lead the prayer. Let us unite our hearts in prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the salvation for all of us. Your expensive blood on the cross. Let the peace that is upon us and your great blessings upon us. We want to give the best Father, we want to give our offerings. We want to give our thighs. We believe, Lord, that the blessing comes from you. And whatever we have, we own is yours. Bless all of us. We, be we believe in your name. That we give, we give from our heart. Even though it's a little but we give from our hearts. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your blessings upon us and our families. To our children and to the future generation. Use this to expand your kingdom. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Happy giving. God bless you.
These are the announcements of this week. We will continue with 24-7 chain prayer tonight and midnight via Zoom. At midnight. Tomorrow is an important class for all um, students. Because this is the last class via Zoom at 8. And next Thursday, we will have a fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. At 8 p.m. Dit zullen we samenhouden via Zoom. Via Zoom. En aanstaande zaterdag iets iets heel leuk. En Saturday. Dan hari Sabtu ada sesuatu yang indah sekali. For all teeners and all youth. For all teeners, teens and all youth. Want om drie uur hebben we Eagles teens. We will have Eagles teens. And om vijf uur hebben we JC Generation. And JC Generation at 5 p.m. Jadi daftarkan diri saudara, want we gaan samen naar Utrecht. Gaan naar rame rame kita akan ke Utrecht. Yo. En volgende week komen we weer samen om drie uur middags voor de Digital Gathering Celebration. And next week Sunday we will have Digital Gathering Celebration at 3 p.m. And on Thursday 13 of May at 8, we will celebrate the Ascension on YouTube. En over twee weken is een bijzondere spreker te midden van ons. In over two weeks, we will have a guest speaker, Pastor Rubin, from Bandung. God bless you. Let us pray intercession. Father, we pray for Pastor Victor, Pastor Afifi, Joy, and Jessica. Your protection is over them. That your anointing is, is seen in their lives. And we believe that when they speak, Speak. Your anointing is upon them. Their health is protected by God. And we also pray for the pastor's team and all the leaders in the FMC Church together with their families that you will cover them with your blood, that they are on fire serving you, Lord Jesus, with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And it goes further to the congregation in the name name of Jesus. Thank you for those who have their birthday this week. They are blessed by, the, by God. They are on fire in serving you in this new year. Thank you, Father, for the country where we live in, at this time in the Netherlands, that you will bless the government and also the doctors and the nurses who are busy um, taking care of the patients of COVID-19 and also all of their patients that they are not hopeless in doing their job but they know that what they are doing is for the society. Uh, Freedom. 
Om the Maskapai. Terima kasih Tuhan. Thank you Lord. Untuk negara-negara di mana kami berasal. For the countries where we were born. Di mana kami dilahirkan. Waar wij geboren zijn. berkati setiap negara ini. You bless all these countries. Dan kami berdoa ada kunjungan daripada Tuhan di negara-negara ini. We pray for the your visit in this land in this country that many souls will be saved and we specially pray for untuk negara Israel Israel untuk bangsa umat yang telah kau pilih for the country of the people that you have chosen bless them Lord protect them Lord we believe that you will add more souls that dare to confess that Jesus Christ is the Savior we bring this prayer into your hand Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give a big hand. The peace of God is upon us. Let us say, peace of God is upon us. Those at home as well. And in Ho the Netherlands, the ne in Holland, there is peace. There is peace. Lift up your hands. We we'll receive your word. We we'll receive your blessings. The blessings from the Father God in the love of Christ. With the Holy Spirit is with us. Everyone who believes says, Amen. Give God a big hand. God bless you.